What's the matter, Max? You're very late. You've kept the band waiting. I'm awfully sorry, old boy, really. I was walking along here in the blackout, you yeah. know, and I was saving my torch on the account of the batteries being so hard to get. Yes, they are. Right? Well, I was feeling my way along. I crashed right into a fellow. Yeah. I said, hello, where am I going? He said, in the river. I'm just coming out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then he disappeared in the blackout. It's a good job he did. Yeah. I'd have had a row. Mm. Anyhow, I hurried along here. Just as I got here, just around the corner, I saw a chink of light shining under a fellow's door. Exactly. There were no ARP men about, so I thought it my duty to go up and knock on the door, which I did. That's right. A big fellow answered the door. He said, what do you want? What do you say? I said, do you realise there's some light shining underneath your door? What did he say? He said, blimey, they're not coming here on their hands and knees, are they? <laughs> <laughs> then he slammed the door in my face. It's a good job he did. I'd have had a row. You see, I've uh, always been quite hasty, and I blow up like a bubble. And I say things that I honestly don't mean. Well, I'll have to cure this habit or I'll get myself in trouble. And I'll finish up by making quite a scene. For instance, only yesterday I tried to cross the road. I nearly got run over by a car. I shouted to the fellow, learn to drive, you little toad. The ugly little midget that you are. He stopped and then got out and I could see that the chap was over six feet tall and looked just like a tree. He said, what was that that you said? I said, who said? He said, you said. I said, me? He said, yes, you. I said, not me. He said, I've half a mind to thrash you. I said, thrash you. He said, thrash you. And I stood back there astounded at his flow of repartee. He said, I know just what you thought. I said, who thought? He said, you thought. I said, me? He said, yes, you thought I was small. So in future, be more careful. I said, bet your life I will be. Then he got back in his car and that was all. A week ago today, I went to supper with a girlfriend. She's the girlfriend when her husband's not about. Well, I knew that it was risky and that anything might happen if he suddenly came in and found us out. Still, we sat and had some supper, then we polished off the gin. Then she said, my husband's listening at the door. I said, let the blighter listen. Come on, let's have one more kiss. If he comes in here, I'll smash him on the jaw. The door then opened widely with a crash. And he stood there like a giant as he curled his huge moustache. He said, what was that that you said? I said, who said? He said, you said. I said, me? He said, yes, you. I said, not me. He said, I really ought to kill you. I said, kill who? He said, kill you. I said, me? He said, yes, you. I said, but how? He says, you'll see. I said, but you'd be hung for murder. He said, who would? I said, you would. He said, me? I said, yes, you. He said, you're right. I shall have to think that over. I said, what? He said, what you said. I said, yes, well, I'll be going now. Good night. <laughs>